Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It's Beyond Wisdom, aka Beyond Broken 78, and also known as Flawed Excuses from Twitter back with another video. Um it's been a bit, it's been about, I don't know, about ten or eleven days since I've had a video. Um things have came up. Also, there has been really strong news topics. But uh, there is a news topic that's out there right now, and it's uh something back from the nineties. Politicians and old people blaming video games for violence that has been occurring lately. Yet, um, there are close to 80 million or so PlayStation 4s out there, 35 million roughly, 40 million Xbox Ones out there. There's 80 million copies sold of uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, but there's not 80 million shootings for some strange reason. And also, these games are sold globally. But other countries don't have the same problems we do. But anyways, enough of my rant. Uh, this article that I'm going to pick up from is from Engadget. It's written by Jessica Condit. And her topic of her video is uh, pretty pretty spot on for what's going on. And uh, uh, towards the end of my video, you can have uh, place comments. And uh, I'd like to hear your opinions on this exact topic. Or just... Uh, Give it a thumbs up or just any support at all, even if it's a thumbs down. But uh, back to the article in hand. This is from Engadget.com. Jessica starts off as such. For the people in the back, video games don't cause violence. But the White House wants to talk about them anyway. Video games do not cause violent behavior. There is no scientific uh, consensus Backed research supporting the idea that playing video games, even bloody, realistic shooters, leads to real-life acts of brutality. However, this misguided theory prevails after a shooting at a high school in Parkland, Florida left 17 people dead on February 14th. A handful of politicians decried video games for corrupting young minds and inciting violent behavior. Days later, President Donald Trump said during a meeting about safety in schools, I'm hearing more and more people say the level of violence in video games is really shaping young people's thoughts. Tomorrow video game industry leaders are scheduled to meet with Trump to discuss the non-existent, completely imaginary problem. The Entertainment Software Association will be there and has a clear message for the White House. Video games are plainly not the issue. Entertainment is distributed and consumed globally, but the US has an exponentially higher level of gun violence than any other nation. This isn't a new setting for the ESA. The trade association represents due-paying titans including Sony, Microsoft, Activision, and Nintendo, and it's the industry's first line of defense against federal attempts to regulate video games. For example, the ESA established the Entertainment Software Rating Board in 1994 at the height of the video game panic in Congress. The ESRB's promise to put ratings on all games uh, Placed politicians who were called for the government in step and censor. It is expected for the ESA to fight against a negative image of the video game industry. However, it isn't the only organization that continues against the link between video games and violence, which is academics. The U.S. Supreme Court and most Americans recognize there is no correlation between on screen cruelty and actual violence. First, the scholars. Numerous studies have found no connection between playing video games and actual expressions of violence. The U.S. Secret Service conducted a re review in 2004 aimed at identifying causes of school shootings and it found just 12% of studied attackers, that is just 5 out of 41, expressed an interest in violent video games. That's much lower than the national average in 2010, which is 85% of boys aged 15 to 18 reported playing violent video games. In fact, video games are tied to a decrease in actual violence. An economic study published in February 2016 found a reduction in crime in the weeks after major video game releases. A handful of similar studies conducted from a range of perspectives have come to the same conclusion. In 2013, a review conducted by the American Psychological Association noted that a link between violent video games and short-term spikes in aggression behavior but this study is quickly rebuffed by many experts. More than 230 psychologists, media scholars, and criminologists signed an open letter arguing the APA used faulty methodology and based its 
uh, results on a bias to reach its own conclusions. This decline in societal violence is in conflict with claims that violent video games and interactive media are important public health concerns, the group wrote. The statistical data are simply not bearing out this concern and should not be ignored. In 2017, the APA's Media Psychology Division advised officials and reporters to stop suggesting that there is a connection between violent video games and real-life acts of brutality. Journalists and policymakers do their uh, best a disservice in cases where they link acts of real-world violence with the perpetrator's exposure to violent video games or other violent media. There's little scientific evidence to support the connection, and it may distract us from addressing those issues that we know contribute to the actual real-world violence. The U.S. legal system agrees. In, in 2011, the U.S. Supreme Court struck down a California law that banned the sale of violent video games to children. It was a 7-2 decision, and the majority opinion was written by Justice Antonin Scalia, the legendary conservative voice on the bench. Psychological studies purporting to show a connection between exposure to violent video games and harmful effects on children do not prove that such exposure causes minors to act aggressively, he wrote. Any demonstrated effects are both small and indistinguishable from effects produced by any other media. This view is held by most Americans, too. In 2015, study by the Pew Research Center found that 53% of respondents disagreed with the statement, people who play violent video games are more likely to be violent themselves. However, 40% of people agreed that there, ir there was a relationship between video game violence and violent behavior. That's high, considering the ridiculous amount of evidence to the contrary. This theory persists in part because it's an enduring component of some politicians' predictable post-school shooting talking tour. After the Parkland shooting, Florida con uh, Congressman Brian Mass told NPR stronger gun laws were not the answer, despite calls for such legislation from student survivors. Instead, Mass said, what do we do with the biggest pusher of violence? The biggest pusher of violence is hands down Hollywood movies, hands down the video game market. Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin shared similar sentiments, which I mocked earlier in another video, while Arizona State uh, Republican uh, Representative Mark Fincham refused to vote on a bill banning bump stocks, arguing violent video games were the real concern. The NRA is another loud voice in this conversation, and its leaders have long blamed mass shootings on video games. In 2012, after a shooter killed, nearly tw killed 20 children and six faculty members in Sandy Hook, NRA President Lane LaPierre said there exists in this country, sadly, a callous, corrupt, and corrupting shadow industry that sells sows violence against its own people. He's talking about video games, not the gun in industry. Which is... <laughs> this is just plain disgusting, these uh, people that hide behind money just to get their callous ways out of the way. So, but anyways, back to the topic. Uh, the NRA has donated to Mass Campaign, and Bevan is proudly endorsed by the organization, and Trump has an A-plus rating from the NRA. Which brings us back to this week's White House meeting up with the ESA. One week after the Parkland shooting, Trump floated the unscientific, largely disproven theory that violent video games can incite real-world violence, and questioned whether stricter regulation was necessary. These are sentiments designed to grab the attention of the ESA and video game fans alike, and they steer the conversation away from topics like gun legislation, which is generally how the NRA prefers things. The ESA has plenty of experience defending the reputation of the video game industry and its ability to regulate itself. Its arguments are backed up by decades of research into an on-screen and real-world violence. It's highly likely that this week's meeting with Trump won't result in any new federal regulations for the video game industry, and besides, any attempts to censor would be challenged on First Amendment grounds just as they have been quite successfully in the past. It is also likely the Trump administration is aware of this stalemate. The desired outcome in this case is a conversation that draws energy away from much more complicated, politically charged, and emotional debates about gun violence and gun control in the U.S. A conversation that includes 1,100 words above. Uh, Jessica makes some great points in this article. 
Uh, if you want any more for information about Jessica, she's on uh, Twitter at Jess Condit. And, um, yeah, it's, it's really sad that uh, ancient and archaic old men and women have this uh, enamorous infatuation with putting blame on any other piece of media. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It goes, it goes back to the 20s with comic books and the uh, Comic Book Association Ratings Board. Um, there's even... Uh, pamphlets and magazines and in newspapers and even uh, what we would consider uh, commercials in older movies, silent film movies, uh, blaming the silent films and comic books for the rise and demise of people with their drunkard ways or infidelity or some other inane excuse to freaking just blacklist a media that they do not understand or comprehend. And... Um, when it comes to my opinion on this topic, it's just really just disgusting that some people actually have these kind of uh, sentiments. But again, I'd like uh, to hear your thoughts on this and uh, just uh, favorite and subscribe if you like to. Thank you again for stopping in and enjoying my video.